China's high-speed trains are incredibly fast and comfortable. But have you ever wondered what makes these trains tick, or should I say, what makes them roll? Yes, it's the wheel. I'm now here at the Ma Steel factory. It's the first company in China that's being able to produce fully domestically made wheels for China's high-speed rail trains. Think of these wheels as supercharged running shoes of the railroads. Here on the production line, we are seeing these high-performance shoes being made. But wait a minute, is it just me, or is it a little quiet? But don't worry, it's not a ghost town. It's just smart manufacturing in action. Everything is controlled remotely from this cloud control center. It's like a high-tech orchestra. Now, the production quality is probably increased by a half. We use about one half of the workforce before. 然后，呃，完成的产量比以前还要更高。无论是从产品的性能方面，呃，指标性能指标方面，还有就是产品的加工精度，以及这个检测的可靠性方面，都得到了很大的提升。I was told it only takes 68 seconds for a wheel to be rolled from a steel ingot into a finished shape, but also only 18 workers can produce more than 1,000 wheels. In a single day, and each wheel has a perfect sized hole that is as accurate to half the diameter as a hair. Musty wheels' stellar performance has propelled them to global success. These wheels have rolled into over 70 countries, snagging over 10% of the global market share. 应该讲是五大洲全覆盖。二零二三年，我们“一带一路”国家这个。那个出口权重在整个这个出口比例中占了百分之五十左右，所以讲就是，尤其是东南亚、东南亚国家，还有一些欧美，这个增量还是非常明显的。In fact, high-speed rail wheels are among the most cutting-edge products in the world. They require high technical standards and pose significant production challenges. Previously, only Western countries were capable of producing them. But Ma Steel rose to the challenge. In January this year, Ma Steel manufactured wheels entered into operation and began to undergo a 600,000-kilometer field testing. Ye told me it's a winning combination of top-notch quality, competitive prices, and fast delivery. This combination showcases the incredible transformation of Anhui Province and China's manufacturing sector.